friend Anthony's Stinger GT. And uh, this car is definitely different from any of the other cars I've reviewed so far because it is rear wheel drive and not a Hyundai big turbo hatchback. I know Mark's wasn't a big turbo hatchback, but uh, it's not Hyundai and it's not a big turbo, so it's different. First impressions of this car is it's extremely comfortable. This is like a luxury sport car. So the interior is nice and flush. You have leather, soft touch stuff everywhere. And uh, also how this car is different, it's an automatic. So I'm shifting this car with paddle shifters right now. And uh, it's honestly really weird going from driving manual all the time and driving manual cars like for reviews to uh, driving a car with paddle shifters. Don't get me wrong, it's way more fun and I think you are way more connected to your car while you're driving it. But uh, it's definitely different because like I stopped at a stop sign and went to reach down to put it in neutral and uh, can't do that, leave it in drive. <laughs> So, because this is the Stinger GT, this is the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. I think it makes 400 and 430, 430 horsepower. I was going to say 415, but I remember the intakes went yeah. on and she gained another yeah. 15 more. We even horses. tested it since the downpipes went on. Oh, okay. So she could make more. Anthony has a full Borla system and then our six element cat, uh, catted downpipes. Those really make the car sound extremely good. And uh, I know it's confusing if you saw the um, Akrapovich tips, and yes, that is pronounced Akrapovich. I think he just bought the tips because he liked the way the tips look. And uh, the they, Borla one ends like in the trunk too, yeah. so it just sounded awful. Yeah, here. so it projects the sound out and away from the car more than uh, you know into the cabin and whatever. This is actually not a dual clutch car. It sounds like a dual clutch because it's so fast, but it's not, which is a uh, really really impressive. It's not like the N that we reviewed last time or, or like uh, any other Veloster, it's not like set up to where you could take it to the track. I mean the suspension is definitely stiff but if she feels pretty boaty. Granted this does weigh 4,000 pounds but uh, it's definitely still quick. So we are about to go on the notorious bumpy road that we took uh, that N on which basically had us slamming our heads up against the ceiling and watch this. Nice and floaty. Now, not floaty in a bad way, but definitely softer. This car is like the perfect road trip car. It's fast, it's fun, it's comfortable, and like, I couldn't, I honestly, I couldn't picture a more fun car to take on like a 800 mile, like going up to see the family kind of road trip where you want to have fun. It's definitely a very comfortable place to be in and a very nice place to be in too because the materials in this interior are very premium feeling and I'll see it we we're on the same road that's was super bumpy in the end floats right over these bumps no problem it's very much like a BMW Audi targeted kind of bigger car yeah maybe competes with the not the M5 in yeah. size it's about the same size as an M5 yeah like any of the touring Audis and and uh, BMWs that are still quick though. Like yeah. it's, it's kind of interesting. It feels like it's in its own class because it's very different from anything I've ever driven or, or anything I've ever been in because it's still quick, but it definitely feels a little bit more laid back, a little bit more like, like a touring car. But uh, you know, when you, when you want to get on it, it it flies. So, in my opinion so far, as we turn around to do a small pull, super awesome touring car, super comfortable. I'm just waiting for a little bit of space because we're going to need it. Like I said before, this car is rear wheel drive, so I'm going to be a little more careful, which I my first car was rear wheel drive, so I experienced wheel spin in the rear before, but it's definitely more scary than flooring the end and having torque steer than, uh, you know, having 430 horsepower to your tires in the back. So uh, we're definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna be different, but uh, we're gonna show you just how quickly this touring car accelerates. Uh, that's pretty quick. That's
that's a weird feeling when that much weight starts getting pushed up to speeds that quickly. <laughs> that's so different, but in a good way. That was extremely exciting and uh, definitely interesting. I can't really compare that acceleration to, to anything I've driven yet because I, I also think as I keep doing these car reviews, the cars keep getting faster and faster. Um, but if I could describe it in any way to you, it would feel like having a very large ship with a rocket strapped to the back of it and uh, accelerating quite quickly. It's kind of strange. You could feel the, all of the weight of the car just kind of pulling you along as it reaches uh, very troublemaking speeds. So I would definitely say that this car is super... I was loud. Uh, this car is super quirky, like, uh, like Nate put it. And basically, what we did was took a, a very comfortable, sort of fast boat and put 100 horsepower to the wheels <laughs> extra. And uh, it's the weirdest feeling, but I love it. I, I honestly, I love this car. And actually, Doug DeMuro actually just got rid of his uh, E63 wagon and bought one of these in red. So if you want to check that video out, I think it's up here in the corner. You'll see it. But uh, really, really weird car. And, and I say that with the best intentions because... Honestly, I totally understand why Doug would even want to own one of these things. Honestly, you know, you see it, you're like, oh, it's Kia. It's a, kind of a strange brand. You know, they're not known for making performance cars. But they come up with something like this, and they pull in, you know, more people because it, it's such a fun car to drive, and it's such a nice place to be in on the interior. And, and it looks really good from the outside. Granted, the back is not as good looking as the front, in my opinion, but the whole car is tied together really nicely in terms of look. I'm gonna shut up and drive for a second, just so you guys can kind of see what it's like to uh, to be behind the wheel of this car, and, and just so I can feel it a little bit more. The intake noise is really nice on this car. I believe he has dual AEM intakes. Car handles turns well. Definitely not really stiff and track like like feel, but definitely like she can do it.